Hi, Milo Shapiro here with another Fast Keys tutorial. This time, I want to talk about start menus, which can be an important part of Fast Keys workflow. In this module, you'll see how we can create multiple handy menus available at your fingertips, which can be used for running programs, opening websites or folders, sending longer text phrases, or just about anything. As you can see from these examples, the look and feel of the menus can be configured to your liking. I'll be showing the complete process on how to create a simple menu and then build on further configuring its appearance. A lot to cover, so let's get started. First, I'll select a Start Menu module on the left. Fast Keys gives us an example setting for a menu already available. Here, you see the entries for running websites, opening documents, running softwares, etc. As usual, I can edit an existing entry by double-clicking on it. See, this one opens up a browser to Google.com. And you can enable or disable the entry by clicking on the box on the left. Menus are organized in tabs, where each tab represents a separate menu. I'll create one by right-clicking on a tab and select New Tab. And then I'll right-click again to rename a tab. I'll call it Quick Menu. Now, we're ready to add items to the menu. I'll go ahead and click the plus button on the top right to create a new menu entry. Let's say I want to run an entry to open Google Chrome. My command type is run, and the easiest to select is the open icon to select the path to the file program. I'll select the Chrome file here, and you see Fast Keys is now set to run the specified path to the program. We need to give the menu a name. I'll call it Chrome and click OK. OK, we've put our first menu item on the list. Let's create another. I'm selecting New again. I want this menu to open my LinkedIn page. I'll just paste the web address for that into the Run field. You see, in Run mode, Fast Keys can run programs, open files, folders, websites, and so on. The name of the menu should be LinkedIn. OK, let's make another one. I'd like to use this one to enter all my contact information whenever needed, like the end of an email. So I need to first change the type to send, which means Fast Keys will send the text to my screen instead of running programs. Then I'll paste my information in and name it. So whenever I select this menu item, Fast Keys will input the signature information for me into any document. I'll make another example of the test phrase, a standard email response. As with any other phrases in Fast Keys, I can use macros. Here, I'll quickly create a manual text input macro, which will interactively ask me to enter a customer name into the phrase. If this concept is new to you, please check the links to other tutorials where we teach about the macros. With the next two menu entries, let's demonstrate some automation techniques which can be found in a Fast Keys library. What is the library? It's a big repository of ready-to-use commands and scripts which can be used to automate certain computer tasks. I can always select this book icon here to open the library. There's a lot of available scripts here. Just to give you an idea, I'll select Scripts section on the left and select Search Wikipedia. Now you see the type was changed to Command and the script was inserted. And don't worry about understanding what's in that script. You don't need to. All you'll need to know is that this one will open a wiki website with the information about the selected topic. I'll keep the menu name it suggests. And the last one, I go to Library. This time, I'll select the utility script called Put Text in Quotes. Pretty clear what that does. Again, you don't need to understand the code at this point, just trust me, and we'll see how it works in a minute. OK, that's it. I have my menu finished. Now for the menu settings, I need to go to Preferences, Start Menu. As I created the menu on a second tab, I need to go to More. And I see menu number two, settings here. My shortcut key is to bring this up with Alt-Y. I could change that, but I'll keep it like that for now, as it is. 
Okay, finally, let's see and play with our new menu item. I'm in my document. I will press Alt-Y and see, the menu appears at the cursor position. Let's select LinkedIn and the site opens. So you see, whatever I'm doing, I can always press Alt-Y to open the menu again. I'll select Signature and bam, my contact information is sent or pasted to the document. Next, I'll select a word here, New York, open the menu, search Wikipedia, and like magic, Wikipedia opens with the information on New York. Then, I'll select the word support and use put text in quotes. And as expected, this put my word in quotes. Of course, these are just a few examples of what you can do with the fast keys menus. I encourage you to look through the library contents and you'll find some great time saving scripts there. Now, after seeing how it works, I'd like to change the look of the menu. To do this, I'll go back to preferences, menu number two, and now I'll click on more settings. Here, I can configure the colors and style of the menu. First, let's change the background color by clicking the right button here and select a color. This brown looks nice. Maybe a little bit lighter. Yeah, that looks good. Now, I also need to change the font color, so I'll click on the text here. First, I'll click to change the font color. Should be black. And then I'll make the font just a little bit bigger. And OK. Looks fine. Maybe try a bigger icon size. 24 should be better. There are several other options to customize the menu here. Just try them out and see how they work. OK to save. Opening the menu, you see that the menu looks very different now. Well, I still want to change a couple of things, though. First, I want to improve the visibility by inserting lines to separate some of the items in the menu. So to add one here, I'll right click and select separator and another one here. Good. But what if I want Wikipedia, which I use a lot to stand out from the others? I'd like to emphasize or change the style or icon of that individual item. How can I do that? I'll show you. Just double click on it to edit. And now I'll select this three dots menu item button here. And as before, I can change the background color. I want to make it a little bit lighter. OK. And then I can click here to select the icon. I have my Wikipedia icon file already prepared. OK. We'll see how it looks in a moment. Before that, just another quick tip. Sometimes, especially with larger menus, it can be nice to group common entries together. Fast keys menus can also include submenus to do this. Let me show you. If I want to move these two selected entries to a submenu, I'll just right click, select move under a menu. I need to set a menu name and that's it. And here is my changed menu now. You see the phrases grouped together in a submenu and we've got that special individual color and icon for Wikipedia. Am I giving you too much information at once? But before we go, I need to show you one more type of menu, and that's called a toolbar. I can change the type simply by going to Preferences again, and I'll change the type here from a normal menu to a toolbar. OK, I'll press my menu shortcut again, and now we see a toolbar. The entries are the same. The difference from a regular menu is that toolbars are always on top. You can move them to any location on the screen where they wait for you to use them. This can be a great alternative for some needs. Like menus, toolbars are also highly customizable. You can completely change their size and look. Let's see a quick example. Going to Preferences again, More Options, you see there's many different options now. I'll quickly change the mode to display the text on the right, change the tile size, something like this. See the preview on the right? OK. And this is how it looks now. Here's an example of a toolbar, a horizontal one with icons only. 
I'll select a mail response, enter a customer name, and add signature info. <laughs> Here's my email done with a few clicks. I know we covered a lot in this video, so if you even got the idea of how handy and configurable these menus are, you're doing great. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it, it really does help. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be informed of the future tutorials as we keep finding out more about what people want to know. Also check the description below for the links to FastKey's webpage or learn about me and my public speaking skills coaching at publicdynamics.com. Thanks so much and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.